Now that we can put grids in our model and levels in our model, it's time to add columns. Columns react to both grids and levels. What I'd like to do in this video is put in both concrete and steel columns. Under Projects, let's go to Open. Let's browse where you're keeping your exercise files, and let's find the Columns model. Now I'm going to click Open. Now notice we have Level 1 up to Roof. When we put columns in, Revit likes to look downward. Let's go down to Level 1 Structural Plan. And let's go to the Structure tab. And remember, if you go to the Architecture tab and click Column, that's a different column than if you go to the Structure tab. Make sure you're clicking Structural Column. So let's click on Column. And instead of this W shape, let's click our drop down here. And I want to grab a concrete rectangular column. I'll go 12 by 18. Let's make a new type of column. So I'm going to click on Edit Type. I'm going to Duplicate. Now I want to go 18 by 18. I'm going to click OK. For my dimensions on B, I'm going to type 18 inches, and H will remain 1 foot 6. I'm going to click OK. Now that I'm on level 1, what I'd like to do is my depth, instead of unconnected, let's go to top of footing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this column line right here. It pops it in. I'm going to hit Escape. Now we'll see that the structural column is set for column marker A1. It's an 18 by 18 structural column. Now if I'm going to select this, notice we have other properties. So now I have base level as top of footing. For my top level, let's click the drop down. Let's go up to our roof level. Let's click apply. Notice now our hatch pattern shows up because we're kind of cutting a section through it. I'm going to select this column. I'm going to right click. I'm going to create similar. And look at what else you can do. If we click at grids, go ahead and click at grids, I can pick a window around my entire grid system, putting all the columns in in one shot. So now I'm going to click on finish. And just to make sure my columns are all going to the right spot, they're not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of my columns. I'm going to right click, select all instances in entire project. Now my base level is top of footing. My top level, I'm going to click my drop down and all of these are going to go up to my roof level. Click apply. Go to a 3D view. And here they are. Now I'm going to go back down to level one. I want to put in some structural steel columns. So I'm going to select one of these columns. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select all instances in entire project. I'm just going to hit delete. Now under structure, let's click column. Now I'm going to click load family. I'm going to scroll down not to columns, but to structural columns. Make sure you go down to structural columns. This time I'm going to go with steel. I'm going to grab HSS Hollow Structural Section, and I'm going to click Open. Now we get a huge dialog of every HSS type that's in here. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to grab 8 by 8 by 5 eighths right here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to let my depth go to the top of footing again. I'm going to put one right here. Another thing we could do is if we were down to top of footing level, and we go Structure Column. Now for Depth, instead of Depth, we'll go Height. And the Height is going to be up to the roof. Now we can go Add Grids. We can pick a window around everything. And click Finish. And our columns are all, except for this one, up to our roof level. So I'm going to select this first one we put in. Set a Level 1. I'm going to go to Roof. Click Apply. We go to a 3D view, and these are all in up to our roof level. One thing I'd like to do is go to my south elevation. And just make sure everything looks good. These are going on the top of footing, and we're good. That's how you put structural and steel columns into a model.